Yo, what's up, you guys? It's Ao from Catalyst here. We got some insane news. Rocky Reina finally pulling up with some more exclusives. Melanie is getting driven to the point to where she's having to do multiple pregnancy tests. She's having to defend her name. She's having to naysay the haters. We're going to listen to what he has to say in a second. Make sure you go to his channel to watch it. Because I, I want him to get as many views as he can. If you want to see this pregnancy test, go to his channel right now and subscribe. So, um, and I kind of don't feel like watching a pregnancy test, <laughs> even though I know it's just like, it's human nature. It's just, I'm still just like, oh, like poor Melanie, dude. And, and I said this before, I said this in my other videos. I was like, okay, I know everyone's going to, like, go Team Mel. That's what happens. And I'm not saying you shouldn't be Team Mel or you shouldn't be Team Aaron, whatever. Every, everyone's mad at Aaron. Everybody is pissed at Aaron. Like, even his hardcore fans are, like, not... And why did he go live cooking this food? Like, is he trying to flex that he's a good cook? Um... We like okay, Aaron did something that's really, really messed up. And even people in my comment section, because you know, here at Catalyst, we have I know a lot of people like to slam Aaron, but we also have a lot of Aaron fans. You know, maybe maybe it's like a 30% people like Aaron, 70% are kind of like, what the hell, kid. Even his hardcore supporters, Dion King, you guys, if you guys watch the comments, you know who Dion King is. Everyone's mad at Aaron. But, like I said in other videos, we still have to worry about how Melanie was to Aaron and Aaron was to Melanie. I said that if she was texting people, um... That were her, her clients and how she can't get rid of her clients. You can't completely get rid of your clients. That's just not going to happen. Again, Aaron could have lied about that. We don't know the truth. That's kind of why I wish Melanie would talk to somebody. Like, they don't have to talk to Catalyst. They don't have to do an interview. They don't have to give, like, but I think Melanie needs to sit down and be humble. I'm just kidding. Melanie needs to <laughs> Melanie needs to sit down and give us like an actual statement, like an actual like two minute video, being like, "Hey guys, this is Melanie. This is kind of what happened." Blah 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 blah. If she is actually under NDA, that could obviously be a problem. Uh, because she's not going to be able to. If she's waiting to sell this to a big news agency, I don't think that's going to clear her name. Because the people that watch and are following only tabloid media, like when they only follow Aaron when TMZ's out, that's not the community that cares about Melanie. They kind of do, but they're just kind of like onlookers. The people who watch Catalyst, the people who watch Rocky, the people who watch Ocean's Daughter, the the whole the whole Carterverse community. Um, don't think I'm leaving you out. That's who she should care about, in in a sense, because we're the ones who are being active on it every day. We're the ones who follow her. Um, those are the people who are starting to come to her defense and be like, "Hey, Mel, are you okay?" So she should do. A vocal statement, and I think that would make people trust her more. I think just, you know, slamming out videos of pregnancy tests is not the way to go. If you can record yourself taking a pregnancy test twice, she can give us a statement. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, um, but let's, let's play what Rocky had to say about the video he, he received. Again, go subscribe to him. She sent him a pregnancy test video. Has pulled up. So Melody Martin, um, I, she gave me footage of what appears to be her. Now, 
am I a skeptic? Yes. Was I able to ask her questions as to um, the situation involving the sonogram? Unfortunately not. Um, however, she would like her name to be cleared. Um, so she did provide me footage of her taking a separate uh, pregnancy test, which is the, the, cl um, the footage that you saw in the beginning of this video. Um, she appears to be pregnant. Um, you know, she's holding the, the thing and then she's putting the thing in the thing without getting too graphic. Um, now I know there are going to be people, myself included, that's going to be like, well, how do we know it's you? How do we know? You know what I'm saying? And being that I know that these, she's sending me this, I mean, <laughs> it, yes, it helps her credibility a little bit. Um, it still isn't actually And now, now RR is in a tough spot. See, RR, now, now you know what you not now you know how it's hard to be in this neutral zone. RR is like she sent him the good, so you gotta be, you know, you gotta be good with the press. Now, you gotta be in that neutral zone. So why would you send a fake phone? Why would you upload a uh, a fake sonogram? But I mean, if she's going out of her way, um. Then, I mean, I would just have to, I, I guess you could say, I'm not a very compassionate person. I'm not a very, uh, um, when it comes to stuff like that. But I guess if I was to look at it in her eyes, she, this is a woman who's pregnant and her boyfriend. See, Rocky Smart, if I was to look at it in Melanie's eyes, you know, because Rocky, he just said the other day. And Rocky, you know I love you. Um... And I'm. Th this is this is payback for when you said I was gonna bust Lindsay's cheek. So it's it's uh it's payback. But Rocky's he's definitely walking around the the bushes like. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Just kicked her out and just got a new girl sleeping, busting them cheeks on her, on her bed sheet. She still hasn't been able to get her stuff out. So whether you like her or don't like her, believe her or don't believe her, she's going through a lot right now. And for her to be going out of this much out of her way to kind of uh, put the pregnancy issue to rest, I kind of have to give her so, or show her some respect in that aspect. Anyways, hopefully I'll be able to get some more answers uh, or an interview of some type um, with Miss Melanie Martin. Um, shout out to Miss Melanie Martin for the footage and for ABBA. ABBA was the one that uh, facilitated this. Um, anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace. Yeah, because, see, that's that's a tough one. I don't know if I, if, if, if I had the same footage, I don't know if I could have delivered it that way because it's like, man... There's so many questions. I I would need vocal. Um, I would need more substance, like more like I would have needed to to talk to her and been like, uh, like what what's up with this? Da 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 da. Like not even recorded. Like not just like I, I don't. Maybe they did. I don't know. But that's like and. I'm not trying to sound rude here. I'm just trying to look at things like very realistically. If Miss Melanie is not going to get back with Aaron, over time, she's just going to fade more and more and more into the background. It, that's just what happens. You know what I mean? People kind of follow Aaron. And I again, I know there's going to be a whole team, Melanie. Team... Aaron thing, but once this new girl fully kicks in, if he actually starts dating her, like people are not gonna talk about Melanie as much, and the problem might just become obsolete. Uh, it, the only the only reason it would become a huge problem is if again these pregnancy tests were real. She did say she was gonna get a sonogram this Thursday. Let's not forget about that. Let's not forget about that sound scan that's going to be happening this Thursday, allegedly. Hopefully no one forgot about that. Hopefully Melanie didn't forget. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I like Melanie, but this is like, this is 
tough waters. Like, I've had some people trying to throw me in the middle, telling me, oh, ask her for interview. And I actually did. But I actually don't even know if I if I should at this point. Like, if it if it came down to it, I don't know if I want to take that on. Um, because it's such a, uh, a touchy subject. Pregnancy. Is it real? Is it not? Like, that's just like, ooh. Uh, or maybe I could get, like, someone who knows more about that stuff. Because, like, I mean, not, not, not that I don't have experience, but, you know, pregnancy, like, I feel like is obviously a very womanly thing. And I feel weird speaking about it because I'm not a woman. And I know a lot of people out there who watch Catalyst in the audience may have been pregnant at some point or have kids. And I don't have that experience. So maybe if it did happen, I could get someone else to help talk with Melanie or whatever like that. So, but that that's all hypothetical. And anyways, this is Ao from Catalyst out.